Taste of Country Nights. We are here with Tenille Arts. How are you doing today? Hey, I'm great. How are you? Awesome. Okay, so now the new song, Somebody Like That, um, references a lot about your parents are in there a little bit. We were just wondering right off the bat, like, did they hear that? And what do they think about what you're saying? I mean, well, honestly, we kind of wrote the song after I had been writing a ton of breakup songs because I had just gone through a breakup and I was like, this was the song that kind of stopped all of that. We were like, let's write something hopeful about actually looking for love. And um, I mean, we were just talking about relationships that we looked up to. And um, for me, you know, that was my parents and my grandparents. And we were just kind of talking about, you know, it's just very different. Dating is very different now. And I kind of wanted something kind of old school, like get to know somebody in person, not over the phone, like not texting, you know, just like go back to the way people used to meet and how people used to date. Were you ever on a dating app? Never. Oh, Mm -mm. you're so lucky. (laughs) (laughs) I just like, I I mean, I don't think I would be very good at a dating Mm -hmm. app. Like, cause I, and I would be freaked out to go on a date with somebody that I, I've never seen yeah, I mean, I, I'm married. I don't know anything about that, but like, I'll watch Amber and like, the it's like, pew, 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 pew. I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, nope, nope, nope. And I'm like, whoa, what is that? That's so cool. I love it. Uh, now, you mentioned you wrote a lot of breakup songs. Has the guy heard any of these? And I mean, they're on the upcoming album, so I mm-hmm. don't know if he's really heard any of them, but. Do you I care? Guess, no, not really. <laughs> so you didn't give him a heads up. <laughs> no. Poor guy's just going to be driving down the road one day and be like, wait a minute, wait a minute. (laughs) These are all about me. Yeah. No, I mean, the album's split up in a really Mm -hmm. cool way because it's like a bunch of love songs, a bunch of breakup songs, and then just kind of like about life. So it's not like the whole album is not focused on Mm -hmm. breakup at all. Now, the love songs are about your current love interest. Yes. Now, has he heard all these? Does he approve? Does he like them? Are there any he doesn't Mm -hmm. like? Yeah, he likes them. I wrote a lot of them like a week after meeting him. So it was a little premature (laughs) to be like, (laughs) yeah. But um, yep. Wait, we're still together. So when you wrote them, did you tell him like a week in no, your relationship? <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't tell him, but it was really funny because there's a song on the album called "Wild Love," and I wrote it literally like a week after our first date. And he, I played it out or something like that, and he was like, "Oh, I love that song. Like I had never heard you play that one before. It's so good." And I was like, "Well, funny story. It's about you." <laughs> Yeah. So wait, so did you know that he was going to be the one? Like, did you have such a strong feeling after a week that you're writing these? I mean, I always try to, even if I was unsure if it was going to like last forever Mm -hmm. or whatever, um, I always try to capitalize on emotions like as I'm feeling them. Mm -hmm. So if I go into a writing session and I feel that way, I'm like, well, I'm going to write about it and see what happens down the road. (laughs) That's so cool. Um, Now, The Bachelor, The Bachelor, this is your third going to be your third time yes on it so obviously the nerves are gone it's just kind of like you're doing your deal yeah i mean this time is kind of it feels like a bigger scale um just because we actually do two versions of the song and it's just yeah it was just this very big um you'll have to see what i'm wearing because it's the most outrageous thing i have like ever seen it is so beautiful i'm obsessed with it um but it was like very elaborate so um yeah it'll be really fun to see it on tv obviously you're dating someone now but would you ever consider or have you ever considered doing a ba- being on the bachelor or the bachelorette i at one point they asked if i was single and i was like I was to my manager. I was like, "Don't tell them I'm not, because I don't want to do that." Yeah, we, that would be a whole another level. Forget the dating app. That would be like the oh, next. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so no. stressful. I did, I was like, I don't think I could kiss somebody on TV. I think I'd be like freaked out that my grandma's watching or something. <laughs> That's understandable. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been on any uh, like singing reality shows? Like, did you make an appearance? Did you try out somewhere? I didn't. You know, I, I was actually contacted about The Voice. You know how they like kind of look for people on, yeah. on social media and stuff. I was contacted about that show, but at the time, they um, I think you had to be a U.S. citizen or or something like that. I, like, I had my visa, but they still were like, "Yeah, no, you're not really eligible." So. But okay, so what is better in America than in Canada? Oh, uh, no, no music, no music, no music. So like, oh I'll, g- I'll give you a heads up. We asked this to the James Barker band yeah. boys, and they said our gas stations are so much better in America. <laughs> oh, 
than Canada, like the truck stops and stuff. That's very true. Like, I went to a Wawa for the first time. Oh, Wawa's are the greatest. Wawa's are great. And there's like a Bucky's or a Buc- something like that in like Texas. Okay. And it's like, it's massive. <laughs> so I would agree with that. Um, I don't know. There's so many different like um, foods here. Like in Canada, it'll be like one kind of oatmeal. And down here, it's like, 15 different kinds and like there's chocolate chips in it and there's like Oreo flavor. And it's, like, it's just like there's so many options for What about everything. poutine? Poutine. I miss it. You like that? I love poutine and pierogies and I feel like I can't find pierogies anywhere. Do you here. know what poutine is? No. Uh, can I don't. you explain poutine to Amber? Okay. It is basically the greatest thing ever. It's <laughs> French fries with gravy and cheese curds and it's like all melted together. Oh, that does sound so, good. I'm not going to lie. Really? It's like turkey gravy though, right? Yeah. It's like brown gravy. Yeah, brown but, gravy. No, that still sounds good. Really? It's good. And then, Listen, what's weird? French fries. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they, they have it in like Burger Kings in Canada. It's like yeah. so weird. Oh, like that's everything's really different, like in Canada than America. And when you cross over, is it kind of like, do you know what you're getting into, or like? Uh, I mean, it's so funny because like even McDonald's will like have completely different things. Like Canada's got like salads and wraps and like all of this stuff, and then like down here it's just like burgers and fries. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah. Yeah, and so how long have you been with your man? Um. Oh my gosh, it's been like. Five, four or five months. Okay. Yeah, it's new. I mean, I'm very glad he came along when he did because I needed help finishing that love section. <laughs> <laughs> well, how did you guys meet? Um, he was bartending at a, a bar on, um, what is that? The Demombrian Street. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was just bartending there and I walked in and I was like, him. I'm going to talk to him by the end of the night. <laughs> like, were you doing a show? or were No. You... I, I never go out and like randomly one night it was just like, oh, it was meant let's, to be. let's go out. Yeah. That's special. Yeah, it was great. Cool. Well, hopefully, I mean, music wise, I hope you guys stay together, but you know, there could be some good songs if you guys don't. So either way, I think us as fans are good. We're good to go. Um, and congratulations on all your success. And we're looking forward to watching you on The Bachelor and hearing the album. Thank you so much.